Hi and welcome on the Hands On Time, my name is Mel and I'm doing watch reviews for you. So, uh, what do I have on my wrist today? My beautiful Vostok Komandirski Kamarad on a Timex NATO strap, beautiful. But uh, today we are talking about a brand that is coming to us from Switzerland, Certina. A real brand of connoisseur, like we say in French. A wonderful brand that is... Um, that no not a lot of people are talking about actually so certina you know was founded in um, 1888 by two brothers adolf and alfred kurs uh, in uh, grenchen uh, switzerland so a long story short because i'm gonna I'm not gonna expand you know on certina they are well known okay for um, the, their um, ds okay double security uh, technology so in uh, 1959, Hans and uh, Edwin Kurz, so other, other brothers, uh, other members of the family, set themselves the objective of creating a new marketplace niche based on the quality through engineering um, a technical design. Thus the company created the concept of suspending the watch movement inside a highly reinforced case, which was named DS, okay, double security. Uh, these were the first watches to increase shock protection. So the first watches to increase shock protection before, you know, the, the Casio with the with the G-Shock and water resistance to six meters because before that it was only 2.2 meters. The watch was taken up to, uh, to uh, the uh, Himalayas by the team who climbed the Dolagiri, uh, and the watch withstood all changes in pressure and altitude. Okay, so that's the technology for um, which Certina is really uh, known for. It's the DS, uh, double security technology. And that's why you have this little, you know, turtle uh, on um, the back of the watches and on, uh, on this beautiful packaging that you see here. It's because uh, the turtle goes in water and is protected from sharks, for example, because of um, the shell, the shell of the turtle. So that's why. The, the emblem of Sarchina is uh, a, a turtle. So let's open it. Beautiful packaging, as you can see. And let's get this beautiful baby out for our greatest pleasure. I'm gonna move the packaging. Of course, in the packaging you have uh, a, the warranty card, you have the instructions, and you have um, COSC certified uh, card as well. So there you have it. The, um, so the watch of today is uh, the Certina DS Action in its 38 millimeters version. Okay, so how much did I pay for this watch? This watch um, cost me 830 euros, guys. Okay, it's not um, cheap. Uh, it's pretty hard to, you know, to find in Paris. Okay, because uh, maybe you weren't aware of this, but Certina is well known in um, the Scandinavian country. Okay, the market of Certina is better uh, known and, uh, and works in a better way in the, um, the Scandinavian countries. Okay, so here in Paris, it's hard to have like a discount uh, on, uh, on Certinas. So yeah, the full price, 830 euros. You, will, you would find it in Switzerland at uh, 755 Swiss francs. The specs, what are the specs for this uh, wonderful, beautiful watch that you see here? So 38 millimeters that I already said, the lug to lug distance of the watch is 44 uh, millimeters. The lug um, to lug link protruding uh, from the watch would be 51. As you can see, you know, okay, 44 lug to lug distance, but you have this, uh, you know, end links that are actually you know protruding a little bit and this would uh, put you know expand it to 51 millimeters but we are going to talk about that the strap would be 19 millimeters okay 19 millimeters uh, the thickness of the watch is actually 12.2 excellent sickness you know for a watch that would stand beautifully on the wrist because of that uh, marvelous sickness uh, 316 l standard steel for um, you know the entirety of the watch the loom that is actually you know um, put on this watch is super luminova bgw9 an excellent loom as well 300 meters of water resistance yeah you heard me correctly 
I don't know if you can see it on the on the dial but 300 meters of water um, resistance which is actually certified okay uh, with um, the certification ISO uh, 6425 so uh, Satina uh, already said it is from the Swatch group, okay? Uh, the Swatch group is, um, if you weren't aware of it, a group that owned Tissot, for example, or even Omega, okay, is owned by the Swatch group. So the movement inside is the wonderful Powermatic 80.611, uh, which is also uh, a movement that um, they put, you know, the Nivacron technology inside, which is a technology that allows this watch to be anti-magnetic. Okay, so not a lot of people know that, but this watch is also anti-magnetic, guys. So what is the Powermatic uh, 80 from um, the Swatch Group? Well, it's an Etabase movement the uh, 2824 if i am correct okay but in this case that has been slowed down a little bit you know it it doesn't beat um, like a 2824 it beats uh, lower than that and why to allow this watch um, to go up to 80 hours okay 80 hours uh, of um, of, uh, of power reserve in this watch which is absolutely crazy guys Okay, so 80 hours of power reserve uh, instead of 42. Okay, so that slowed down a little bit the movement to increase the power reserve. And by the way, the accuracy of this watch is, uh, is crazy good as well. Okay, I've saw other, um, other, um, other videos on it and uh, a guy did a test on eight days and the watch took only two seconds okay so why am i saying this it's because it has been slowed down but that has no you know uh, no um, effect on the accuracy of the watch okay uh, the watch is incredibly accurate and he was actually comparing it to rolexes and uh, that watch was actually more accurate than a rolex that was losing two uh, seconds a day if i remember correctly that one two seconds on eight days guys so incredible movement of, um, for this watch and of course before i forget to tell you screw down crown okay 120 click bezel that aligns perfectly when you have the watch it's a it's a little stiff as you can see the sound is really pleasing and the stiffness is more welcome because like my um Orion Mac 2 you know a stiff bezel will in time get looser instead of having a too uh, a bezel that is too loose and will be too easy to operate and will move you know on its own um, throughout the day the good and the bad what's good what's bad about this watch well let me tell you uh, <laughs> there's a really 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 um, few things that are bad about this watch but uh, we are going to talk about what you know mainly the, the people say uh, first let's talk about the good things first okay so the good things um, I wanted to have you know something that would come close to a Rolex Marina I think I found it okay because instead of um, having the Orion Ray 2 because that was my first choice the, the Orion Ray 2 uh, well this watch is way better than a, an Orion Ray 2 or even a rotary you know rotary watches from England as well were are really good uh, with uh, you know beautiful homages uh, but uh, this watch not only is um, its own thing okay uh, but uh, also uh, wow it's it's for me the best affordable alternative you know on the market even if uh, 830 euros is a lot of money for me okay let's be honest i had to put money on the side for a long time to buy it that watch came out um, in 2021 i wasn't able to, you know to to purchase uh, purchase purchase the, the watch um, like this i needed to put money on the side so yeah wonderful wonderful alternative to the rolex submariner and as accurate if not better uh, accuracy you know than the rolex submariner so what else is wonderful about this watch 300 meters the fact that it looks like an omega seamaster um, 300 seamaster second generation my favorite okay um the first generation generation was beautiful the second one was for me the perfect generation and the third one is too sportive for me uh, so that one is really subdued 
uh, you have the lacquered you know type of dial that really creates that wonderful black hole you know uh, type of effect you have the subdued you know way uh, than uh, the you know the, the numerals are actually written on the bezel it's not like popping out uh, which um, allows this watch to have a really refined look and a really uh, sophisticated look uh, on the wrist okay and my god all the uh, all the rest of the watch is just wonderful so let me show you the bracelet the bracelet is a scissor type of bracelet wonderful bracelet as well and i forgot to tell you that you also have um, a dive extension as you can see here okay if you are a diver this is not only a beautiful watch but this is a proper tool you can actually you know dive with this watch uh, with um, no problem Everything is brushed, everything is beautiful, I love the style of the watch. Really, really a nice watch and um, an entire magnetic watch for this price with an ETA. And the obvious beauty of the watch may make um, me think that this watch is, yeah, the most affordable alternative to a Rolex Submariner, uh, period. You know, the most serious alternative to a Rolex Submariner. Let's not forget as well that uh, for example the Tudor Black Bay you know is supposed to be a, l a luxurious watch many people are saying that this would be like uh, something in between a Mako or a Reitu and a Tudor you know Tudor is actually you know uh, considered l luxurious only because they are manufacturing their movement okay that's the only reason why it's uh, over uh, 3000 euros this one have a, has an ETA based movement and uh, but has nothing to envy Okay, has nothing to envy to uh, a Tudor Black Bay 58, for example. And let's not forget as well that the fact that you have a manufactured movement inside of your watch will make you pay a lot of money to service that watch. That watch, um, light service would be 50 Swiss franc, okay, and a complete service would be 190 Swiss franc, which is really affordable. So that's an, uh, another wonderful argument, you know, that this watch co will cost you nothing. To, to service and even if you don't you know uh, send it back to Certina you can you know go and have it serviced because the ETA movement is, is like really known have it serviced by any any um, uh, other watchmates you know let's move a little bit the hand for you to see uh, the logo and uh, the text and uh, by the way really easy to operate the hand a pleasure a real pleasure and something else there you go and something else the smoothness of the crown is crazy the hand winding system is really satisfying on this movement so let's push it back let's screw it down back to its place really easy to operate by the way okay silky smooth to to operate that movement so wonderful yeah that was for the good uh, i have like many other things to say but let's let's talk about you know the bad things the the things that people are saying so the first thing is the 19 millimeters you know uh, fact um, that um, uh, the strap the, the bracelet is only 19 and you uh, don't have you know a lot of options uh, in terms of um, NATO straps etc so for me it's not a deal breaker it's true but it's not a deal breaker why it's because me I love that bracelet and I won't ever put the watch um, you know on a NATO strap so I don't care for me it's not a deal breaker okay so that that was the first thing the second thing is the extension so the extension you know is a, a problem for a lot of people because they are saying that the extension looks cheap as you can see and doesn't you know match the rest of the case for the price honestly for the price you would not you know be uh, actually you know expecting a watch at that price point to have the extension of the Omega Seamaster 300 okay uh, because you would be dreaming and the, the other thing is like who will ever except if you really dive you know use this thing and another thing is that here you see you have half links. I removed some of them. If you don't like the diver extension, you just put it out and you put the half links directly into, you know, the two micro adjustments that you have here. 
okay so that's what i think and i don't think that this is uh, a deal breaker so let's talk about um, the bracelet uh, many people are complaining of uh, because there are actually only two micro adjustments there are only two micro adjustments but there are a lot of half links as you can see so this is actually not a problem you can size the watch really easily because of these you know half links uh, I sized it there are other half links that I put uh, you know inside of, uh, of the box so this is actually not a problem as well okay so yeah and uh, as I heard like other people complaining about the fact that it, it doesn't tapers enough honestly I'm just not going to talk about this because I completely disagree this is BS okay it tapered it doesn't taper enough you are going to see on the wrist shot that is beautiful on my wrist I have a 16.5 uh, millimeters um, centimeters wrist of circumference and it's beautiful so pff, no I disagree completely with the with that one so yeah so how to wear this watch really easy this watch is so beautiful that you can wear it with anything okay suits uh, casual chic casual anything okay if you want that sort of a James Bond you know type of look you can have it with this watch that's not why I bought the watch but if you are uh, you know into like this this James Bond beautiful you know um, type of look this watch will will do it with absolutely no problems at all okay so everything everything suits casual casual chic you can wear this watch and there you go for the wrist shot so as you can see i have honestly a chicken wrist okay 16.5 millimeters uh, centimeters so, sorry of a uh, circumference and as you can see the watch looks beautiful beautiful on my wrist okay so like i said 51 because of these uh, endings that protrudes a little bit as you can see it doesn't bother at all because of that lock to log of uh, 44 it's not bothering at all it's it's beautiful trust me better in reality than uh, than on videos so as you can see 12.2 makes it a beautiful cushion like you know type of case on the wrist even on a on small wrist like mine really really nice looks really nice 16.5 um always size my watches with one pinky fingers you know so it can be a little loose when the when the when the 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 wrist expands throughout the day because i'm i've ate ate you know salt or things like that or it's too hot or too cold or you know the your wrist expands and and uh, inflate and and deinflate throughout throughout the day so look even with my sets with the way i set it you know because I like it to let it slip a little. It, it's really nice, beautiful, beautiful watch. Really a, a wonderful alternative to the Rolex Submariner. And premium like watch, beautiful. So there you go, you see, really slim. Incredible watch for the value, for the money that you are, you know, actually paying. So that's it for the wrist shot and there you go for the loom shot so super luminova bw9 beautiful powerful super luminova no surprises really well applied on the loom pip on the hands really really nice no surprise here high level of loom applied on this watch really nice really beautiful i love it and i love that blue color you know really really nice so there you go for the loom shot so guys let's really take a moment to to have a real look at that watch okay so an arrow as a hand which makes it you know its own thing it's absolutely not something that uh, Certina, you know, uh, is not copying Rolex. Okay, this is not an homage. This is not. This can be an alternative, but it's not an homage. It's its own thing. Something that not a lot of people are saying. Look at the bezel. The bezel looks like um, the bezel of a, a Tudor Black Bay Fifty Eight. 
So in fact, in here, and especially on the other colors, because you have uh, you know this available uh, in other colors, beautiful colors, it really adds to the vintage look of the watch because that's what the Black Bay 58 wanted to to translate. Oh, I'm sorry, the the, the 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 crown is signed as well. I haven't told you with the DS double security, you know. So yeah, it really looks like a Submariner but also because of its bezel like a Tudor Black Bay 58 so you have a complete uh, package in this watch a watch that would look like both of these watches but it's not either you know of them beautiful I love the, um, the triangles that they put at uh, 12 6 and 9 really beautiful the of course the execution of the dial because of a you know the swatch group factor is beautiful and looks like a yeah a second generation Omega Seamaster 300 you know everything is subdued everything is refined everything is elegant you have that like I said that black hole type of um, of effect you know that glossiness also because it's not matte like a uh, Steinhardt for example uh, it's it's lacquered and, and really really looks nice and expensive some people are saying that um, the the watch is boring I uh, completely disagree it's not boring it's beautiful it's like saying you know Rolex Submariner would be boring which is not the case okay I disagree I'm sorry to say to them beautiful look at the brushing so the bracelet and the case match a hundred percent okay and the brushing is uh, perfect Okay, it's absolutely perfect. The, the links has a, a concave, like, like you see, you know, type of shape with add, which adds to the, the comfort uh, of the watch. Brushing, exceptional, you know, brushing on the case here, as you can see. It's, it's marvelous. It's truly marvelous. Let's have a look at the back of the watch. By the way, watch out because the back is in the middle you have the turtle and you have that sort of um, non-brushed you know uh, type of pattern around the turtle but the rest is chrome so it scratches easily so watch out for you know for scratches of course beautiful with the turtle here beautiful back with everything you know sapphire crystal yeah I haven't told you it's a sapphire crystal with um, uh, you have uh, an entire um, uh, an entire reflective system. You know that it's put on the uh, the, the the side the side that is uh, on the outside. You know of the sapphire crystal, not in, uh, on the inside. It's just one uh, one side of it. It's it's really beautiful. Look at the applied indices. Let's have a look. Let's go inside. DS action, Powermatic 80 diver watch, 300 meters Swiss made. There you have the Certina logo really really nice this watch is uh, is absolutely beautiful there you have it the Certina logo 1888 the company is uh, that old and that rich in history beautiful 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 watch I love this watch I waited a long time to have it and it's um, it's a complete beauty so final thoughts what are my final thoughts I think that um, a lot of people are renting for nothing on this watch, like on the things that are supposed not to be, you know, good on this watch, because uh, I completely disagree. I think this watch is an absolute beauty. I think this watch, um, you can feel uh, that the watch is, uh, uh, you know, a watch that is from the, the Swatch Group, because it truly looks like an Omega, honestly. And the materials, because of the appointments to the Swatch Group, are premium the movement inside is just crazy you know 80 hours of power reserve the entire magnetic uh, you know properties of the watch as well are not um, the, the the comfort that you have with this watch is crazy crazy good the quality of the finishing on the watch are crazy for the price the clasp everybody is complaining about the clasp i think it's wonderful it's a wonderful clasp and it's easy to size because of the half links 
okay so don't listen to the naysayers the clasp is easy to size okay and the extension pff, I don't mind honestly I don't mind at all on the extension okay so go for it I think that if you really want something premium okay and uh, and you have the budget go for it this is the watch to take you know if you want a an alternative an alternative sorry for uh, the rolex submariner this is the only one in fact otherwise you have to go cheaper than this and it would be the orient ray 2 or uh, a rotary uh, watch i have one in mind but i don't don't really remember the reference but of course i prefer that one so they are all saying that this is in between you know a tudor black bay and and a maco and blah 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 no it's not it's it's really uh, for me a premium watch for me it's something that is as good as a Tudor, Tudor Black Bay for example okay just because the Tudor Black Bay has a manufacturer movement uh, that's why they are saying this you know but inside we have an ETA and we have a special ETA you know not just an ETA an ETA that has been slowed down to push the reserve up to 80 hours and this is uh, crazy this is abso absolutely crazy and it's its own thing okay as you can see the the hour and um, and and minute hand are uh, actually uh, something that you don't find in uh, in Rolexes, for example, or even in uh, Omegas. Okay, so Tina is has a wonderful history and doesn't need you know to copy anyone. So yeah, that 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 is an underrated brand uh, that really needs to be. Um, more known you know but by um, watch uh, enthusiasts and uh, and beautiful go for it go for it if you don't like that one if you want something like more uh, with more colors you have uh, you have uh, you know a lot of other options uh, so yeah beautiful Certina so if you like what you saw you know like subscribe comment and take care of you guys beautiful watch I'm, I'm so happy I'm so glad I have this watch in my collection I'm, I'm in heaven heaven really and um, I saw in another video someone say that every penny uh, that he put uh, in the watch were worth it. Well, I completely agree with him. It's it's actually uh, incredible to find a watch, uh, and 830 euros is a lot of money for me. But uh, I don't regret it at all. I'm gonna be super classy, you know, with my suits and with my uh, you know casual chic outfits, you know, for to to, to go to work with, with that watch. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Have um, a wonderful, fantastic day and um, take care of yourselves. Bye, guys.